To gain as much of an advantage as possible when peeking and taking aim duels, there are two main things to focus on, crosser placement and movement. If you are one of these players, then you are playing the game wrong. Resting your crosser on the ground like this means that you are relying purely on reflexes and muscle memory. This makes the game unnecessarily harder for you, and it will make you lose several aim duels. Your crosser should always be as close to where an enemy might be. The only way to know where an enemy might be is to play the map not just once, but several times for many days and sometimes weeks. Eventually, you'll memorize the layout and learn where the most common enemy spots are. When you prepare your crosshair for a position that you expect a player to be, just like I'm doing, it is called pre-aiming. The key to becoming a good CSGO player is finding guidelines on the map to pre-aim most common spots. For example, on train, if I'm going out pop dog, and I want to pre-aim Ivy, I need to memorize, well, more or less where my crosshair should be in advance. This will maximize the possibility of me winning an aim duel towards Ivy, because I'll need little to no adjustments with my mouse. While it's important to have good crosshair placement and being able to pre-aim well, you also need good movement. So let's start by looking at velocity, which is your movement speed. You can type CL show pass one in the console to see your velocity, but I'll use a server plugin for now so it's easier to see in the video. To effectively peek someone, you need to learn how to increase and decrease your velocity as fast as possible. The faster you increase your velocity, the better you will be at surprising your enemy, but the velocity also needs to quickly decrease to shoot your bullets straight. If I peek using only A and then release the key, my velocity will drop down slowly. During this time, my shots will not be totally accurate, which means that if I'm taking an aim duel during this moment, any chances of winning it will be worse. But if I tap the opposite key while peeking, my velocity will drop down faster and my shots will be way more accurate. So to effectively peek someone, you can use A or D, then tap the opposite key to quickly lower your velocity. Peeking like this with an AK or basically any weapon with fast kill potential and one that gives you high velocity is crucial for winning your aim duels. Another thing you might have noticed is the little jittery move movements that I'm doing before the peak. This is something that I do to improve the flow of my peaks. And all I'm doing is spamming A and D, which is something you want to do when clearing default positions. You can also use this technique to shoulder peak, which could bait a shot from the enemy. On a higher level, a shoulder peak is often performed with a knife, so you gain even higher velocity, making it harder for the enemy to land a good shot. Overall, this is the basics that everyone should learn, and it takes a lot of practice to get really good at. Some players will move forward while they're peaking or taking an aim duel. This is harder to control, since you would have to quickly decrease your velocity with the opposite key and the S key as well in order for your bullets to go straight. Therefore, players who do this are going to lose most of their aim duels. Peaking with W should only be done in certain scenarios where you don't rely on good aim and purely on movement. For example, if you are already close to an enemy or if you're using a weapon with pretty good movement accuracy. But when you're running around and peeking normally, you generally want to increase and decrease your velocity as fast as possible to gain the highest advantage. Sometimes you might want to crouch as well if you think the enemy might expect you to be at head level. This is just a bonus, but remember that crouching lowers your velocity, which can ruin your flow if you're taking peaks after peaks. In some cases, you will want to peak a wider area like this, which is better known as a wide peak. A wide peak relies more on your muscle memory since you're scanning a wider area. Therefore, it requires a lot of raw aiming ability and you will often need to flick your shots. I wanted to include this into the video just to explain something important here. Flicking is consistently harder to do than pre-aiming is. Not only that, but wide peeking can expose you to other players. Therefore, I strongly recommend that you wide peek with a flash or with refrag potential. This should cover the basics of how to peek and win aim duels. I hope this video helped. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more CSGO content. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome.
and go bananas.